What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I'd like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms, if you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in Atlanta Falcons news, the Falcons have traded for wide receiver Van Jefferson. Uh, Van Jefferson is a former... Uh, wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. He did win the Super Bowl with those guys two years ago. And he is one of those guys that goes about 6'1", 200 pounds. Um, he played his college ball at the University of Florida. Uh, he actually was at the University of Florida with Kyle Pitts, um, our star tight end. Um, so I definitely like this signing by our Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Van Jefferson is one of those guys that's going to add that speed element to this Atlanta Falcons team. As you guys know, for the last couple weeks, I've been talking about the Atlanta Falcons uh, needing to get Scotty Miller involved uh, on our offense because Scotty Miller is a guy who can stretch the defense. Uh, he's a guy that can take the top off the defense. And Van Jefferson is a similar player to a Scotty Miller. He's just a bigger, uh, bigger wide receiver than Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller is about 5'9", uh, 180 pounds. Uh, to 190 pounds van jefferson is about six foot to six foot one um but he is one of those guys that's a good route runner and he is a guy uh that's a big play waiting to happen if you go take a look at his highlights um when he was in college at florida and also when he was with the la rams uh, when he was healthy he is one of those guys that was making big plays taking the top off the defense with matthew stafford and that rams offense and i definitely think that um, adding uh, Van Jefferson to this offense uh, could be one of those missing uh, ingredients to this Atlanta Falcons uh, offense because you guys know that we have bigger physical wide receivers like Drake London, Kyle Pitts. Those guys are mainly possession wide receivers, and we don't have a ton of wide receivers um, that are speedsters and guys that can take the top off the defense. But we're adding a Van Jefferson to this team. Um, I definitely think if you look at our roster over the last couple of weeks, um, our wide receivers and our tight ends, they haven't been creating a ton of separation because we have those physical big body guys. But Van Jefferson is one of those guys that will create separation with his speed and with his route running and ability. Um, it's really going to come down to if he can stay healthy. Uh, this is one of those moves that's kind of like a high, um, a low risk, uh, high reward type situation where um, we didn't trade, but only like a six and seven round pick for him. We swapped picks with the Rams. So we didn't give up much. Um, from my understanding, Van Jefferson is still under his rookie contract. But I believe after this season, the Falcons will have to decide on the fifth year option. From my understanding, uh, he is in his fourth season uh, in the NFL. In his second season, his best season of his career, he had over 800 yards receiving. But he's kind of struggled the last couple years to stay healthy. So it's really going to come down to if he can stay healthy, similar to like a Jeff Okuda situation when we brought him in over from the Detroit Lions. Um, both of these guys have a lot of untapped potential. And I think Van Jefferson is one of those guys that definitely can contribute to this Atlanta Falcons offense. Uh, but it's really going to come down to him staying healthy, him learning this playbook. And once he gets those things down, I definitely think that he'll add another key component to this Atlanta Falcons team, being a guy that can draw coverage and you know, open up the running lanes for our running backs because he's one of those guys that can go deep. Uh, he is a guy that can, uh, you know, stop allowing these safeties and corners to sit on all of these underneath routes and the middle of the field routes that we like to run, all of those in-breaking routes. He's one of those guys that can run those deep uh, patterns on the outside and kind of free up guys like Drake London, free up guys like Jonu Smith and Kyle Pitts in the middle of the field. So I definitely think that this is another great pickup uh, by our Atlanta Falcons and Terry Fontenot. Um, as I mentioned previously, uh, Terry Fontenot isn't leaving uh, no stone unturned. He's continuing to build this roster and continuing to tr 
try to find gems and young players that he believes that can come in and help this Falcons team uh, be even better. And I think that Van Jefferson is one of those guys uh, that could come in and uh, contribute to this Atlanta Falcons team. But with that being said, you guys give me your thoughts on Van Jefferson. Uh, do you think that he'll be able to help this Atlanta Falcons team? Do you think that he'll be a contributor? Personally, I think after a few weeks, I definitely think that he could add something, a new ingredient to this Atlanta Falcons team and definitely be one of those guys that could take the top off the defense and help some of these other guys on this Atlanta Falcons roster. Uh, but with that being said, this being your boy, Jew, I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, rise up, be blessed, peace.